one day a lady and the devil was arguing and the devil tried to persuade the lady to come with him and do his evil bidding the lady said I rebuke you I never follow your ways you evil devil so the devil said okay you don't want to follow me I'll make sure you never find love ever in life See, the lady said, all right, we'll see. The devil said, yeah, we'll see. And he disappeared. He took love from the lady. So now next thing you know, the lady was, you know, bitter, grumpy, aggy. The devil hid love inside the mountains. But the lady likes to go skiing. So she found love once again. The lady was happy all over again. The devil got mad fucking bitch the devil took love from her again he said I'm gonna put love in the ocean but the lady likes to swim she eventually found love and happiness again the devil said motherfucker he takes love from her again he said damn everywhere I put love she finds it. So the devil thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking, he's trying to find a place to put love where the lady won't find it. He put love in the graveyard. The lady goes to the graveyard to visit her mother every year because she knows she loves her mother. So when she go to visit her mother, she always feel rejoiced. When she's down and out, she always go to the graveyard and talk to her mother. So she wanted to become happy again after going to the graveyard and talking to her mother. The devil said, this motherfucking bitch. He said, everywhere I put love, she finds it. So one of the other demons come to the devil. He said, master, master, I know where you could put love at and she'll never find love. He said, we inside of a man? He said, no. Women love men, especially if they make money or got a big dick. He said, no, not men. He said, I know where she could put love, where you could put love at, and she'll never find it. So he said, all right, tell me. So the demon said, let me whisper in your ear, boss, because I don't want nobody else to know that I'm telling you this because word might get back to the lady. So the demon whispered in the devil ear and he told him the answer. The devil smiled and he jumped up and down and rejoiced. Like, yeah, I got this bitch. I'm gonna fucking win. So, um... The devil put love where his sub-demon told him to put the love at. He hid it where the sub-demon told him to hide it at. So the lady's bitter, she's grumpy. She's looking for love, she's trying to find love. It's like this fucking devil, he took love from me once again. So the lady, you know, she's dealing with different men. She's trying to find love. She's shopping, going on shopping sprees, trying to find love. She bought a car. You know, she, she's getting money. She got a career. She, she's buying all type of shit. She's taking all type of trips everywhere, going to different countries. She buying all types of jewelry, trinkets, shopping bags. Nothing is happening. She like, damn, I still feel angry. I still feel sad. I still feel bitter. Fucking devil's getting the best of me. He took love from me. So two or three years pass. The lady still haven't found love. So now she's feeling suicidal. So the lady's walking. She's walking down a dark road. She's walking down a dark road. And she sees a homeless man. And a homeless man say, hey, miss, can you please feed the homeless? She like, not right now, miss. I'm like, I don't want to be fucking bothered. Like, I'm having a hard time and, you know, I'm going through a lot of shit. 
what a homeless man said. She didn't know the homeless man was a fallen angel, right? But, you know, he got kicked out because, you know, he didn't want to pay attention or he wasn't listening or whatever, whatever. But if he do good deeds on earth, he can make it back to where he got to go. So the homeless person who was the angel in um, human form, you know, he had a certain type of knowledge. He had, like, unlimited knowledge. He said, I, he said, miss, if you help me, I can help you. She said, how the fuck you can help me? You can't help me. You homeless. You're a fucking bum. He said, miss, please be humble. He said, if you help me, I can help you. He said, miss, I'm hungry. Please feed me. And I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. So this lady said, fuck it. I don't got nothing to lose. I'm already down and out. She said, come on, I'm going to take you to a diner. She takes me to a diner. So the homeless man stinking, everything. His clothes is raggedy, everything. She feeds the homeless man, gets him something to drink and everything. And the homeless man said, thank you, my stomach is full. May God bless you. She said, God don't exist because all the bullshit I'm going through, you know, God don't exist. I'm not blessed. He said, all right, well, miss, I'll talk to you tomorrow. She said, tomorrow? She said, nigga, you said if I feed you or get you some water to drink and some food to eat, you was going to um, tell me a secret, like you was going to help me if I help you. He said, come back to the same place where you see me at tonight, come back tomorrow. So the lady like, what? I'm not coming back to no fucking dark street tomorrow. He like, you gonna rape me or something? He like, no, miss, trust me, please. He said, trust me, queen. So anyway, the lady leaves and she comes back tomorrow. She comes back the next day. So when she comes back the next day, she looking for, a home, for the homeless man all over. She's searching through the garbage, everything. Hey, homeless man. Hey, homeless man. She don't see him. But she see a man standing on the other side of the street with all white on. White gaiters, white mink coat. He had a full length fur, white mink coat, white hat. He's shining, he's glowing. He like, hey, beautiful. Come over here for me, let me talk to you. She's like, not right now. She's like, not right now, I don't wanna talk to no fucking pimp or I don't wanna talk to no player. She's like, I'm looking for this homeless guy I helped yesterday. And I want to make sure he's all right. He told me, meet him, meet him here tonight. And I want to make sure he's all right. So the dude said, I am the homeless man. She like, get the fuck out of here. You was just stinking yesterday. You, you was just down and out hungry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever. Like, this, it, you ain't the same person. He said, miss, looks could be deceiving. Everything you, what you see ain't really what it is in life. He said, I told you, if you feed me and give me something to drink, I will help you with your problem. Even though you're not humble, you still fed me and gave me something to drink. So now let me help you with your problem. He said, what's wrong with you? Why you so angry? Why you so bitter? Why you so hateful, queen? Why you so, she like this fucking devil. She like a devil trying to get with me and I ain't wanna fuck with the devil. And he said, he's gonna take love from me and I'ma never find love. She like, the devil hid the love in the mountains. I found it because I like to ski. It's like the devil took the love again and hid it in the water. She like, I found it because I like to swim. She like, the devil took it again and hid it in the graveyard. I found it again because every year I go see my, my mother in the graveyard. She like, and he took it again. She like, and I, I haven't found it since. She like, I go on trips. I go everywhere. I go shopping. She like, I did everything. I can't find love. I done dealt with all type of knucklehead men and everything, but So he said, miss, you know where love is at? She like, where? Because I can't find that shit. You know what I'm saying? The devil said he was going to hide it from me, and, and, and I can't find it. I looked all over. He said he hid love where nobody will ever look. She like, and where's that at? He said he hid it inside your heart. The love been with you this whole time. It's in your heart. 
He said, so you looking out all over the world trying to find love. You looking on ski trips, you looking on different countries, looking with different men, you looking for shopping, partying, clothes, cars. Those is not the answer, queen. He said, the devil tricked you. He hid the love inside your heart because he knew you would never look inside yourself. Because we living in a superficial world where people love everything but they self. They love jewelry, they love cars, they love clothes, they love money, they love everything. But they don't love themselves. He said, Queen, know thyself. She rejoiced. Ah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. She hugged him and kissed him on the cheek. As she ran off, the God disappeared. She stopped drinking. She stopped partying. She stopped clubbing. Instead of going to the club, she go to the gym. Instead of drinking liquor, she's drinking protein shakes now. Instead of smoking weed or doing whatever else she did, she start eating better, start exercising, start reading books, start praying more. And she found love again. So the devil popped up, you stupid bitch. How the fuck you found love again and I hid it from you? She like, don't worry about it, but I rebuke you. I told you you'll never win, devil. He said, you stupid bitch. He said, I'll get you. He said, one day I'll get you. And he disappeared. I say this to say what? This is the point of this story. A lot of people don't love themselves. Sometimes we love things more than we love ourselves. Sometimes we give things our time. We give other people our time, other things our time. Our job, the club, the drugs. We, we always just put everybody before us. We gotta do self-reflection and we gotta get to, know, get, get to know ourselves. We gotta get into ourselves. Cause we living in a superficial world. And this world is getting worse and worse and worse. And it's getting so dark. It's like a rabbit hole spiraling down. And if you continue to be worldly, you're going to lose yourself. If you, can, if you continue to follow these worldly desires and be a part of this evil and this mischievous ways and this mischievous world, you're going to lose yourself. So anybody who's watching this, Please log on to my YouTube channel, Iron Chic AOA, and follow me. But the jewel of this story is know thyself, love thyself, self-preservation come first. You can't help others if you don't help yourself. You can't love others if you don't love yourself. Love yourself. Iron, intelligence rule over negative nonsense. Warlord, wisdom and righteousness is low over reckless decisions. The only time wise men hang around fools is when they educate them or enslaving them. The wise survive and the dumb succumb. If you knew better, you'll do better. Stay up like a cop, I holler back on my collar crack, we get up like sit-ups. Iron. Warlord. Darkness.